when Gracie first started here at Running W, she she was excited to start, but she wasn't exactly sure if she would be able to get on the horse. She's got right side hemoplegia. It makes it hard for her to walk up stairs or or just straddling a horse. I mean, that's that seemed like it would have been impossible, but they got her up the stairs on the ramp and she just sat right down on the horse. No problems and it was quite a moment. I I cried. <laughs> it was it's one of those memories that'll be with me forever. After the first class, she was, I mean, it was just, you could see it on her face. I mean, it was smiles and she was glowing. And she said, Mom, I wanna come back. I love coming here. And so we have ever since. I would definitely recommend this, um, especially if you have a child with special needs. They gain confidence. I think that it gives them confidence. They're able to ride a horse. I mean, I've never rode a horse in my life, so it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I volunteer here. I started to exercise for me because it was all about me. Um, part of my therapy is to walk. So I thought, well, that sounds fun. I'll try it. And then it flips around to, I am completely blessed by what they give me. So in walking and learning the different riders and learning the different horses, I've learned that it's nothing about me. It's all about the, the riders and the things they're learning and um, just watching them grow. Um, we, we had one rider that wouldn't step on the platform at all. And it was months later, it's step by step by step. And with people working with him, he finally got on a horse months later. And so when that happens, all of us volunteers were walking around and watching this. And when he got on that horse, it was dead silence. You could hear a pin drop. It was just... And then there wasn't a dry eye in the house because, you know, we weren't supposed to yell or scream or be excited because that would excite him. So we had to stay calm. And um, it was a tough one because we all inside were just so happy for him. So it blesses us more than what we do. And so that's why I volunteer. Would I recommend volunteering? Yes. Um, it's a lot of work. The riders, you get to know them as individuals and you get to know them much more than their disability and you watch them, them grow and their confidence grow and their, their horsemanship grow and it's a fantastic program. I'd recommend it to anybody. It's always been a dream to ride them, so I'm glad I'm here to ride a horse I love. And what about you? It's awesome. And I was scared to get on the horse, which is Bruin. When I got on, I was happy to do it and he has helped me have more cure courage getting on the horse. I like grooming the horse because that makes you get close and personal with the horse and getting to know it better. I would say keep trying and once you get on you will love the horse no matter what because that's what happened to me. So yeah, <laughs> probably not much but that's how I feel about it. Hi, my name is Cindy Boltzi, and I am the Executive Director of Running W Therapeutic Riding Center. My husband and I out here at this ranch started boarding horses. We didn't go to bed every night going, gosh, that was fulfilling. And so we started doing weddings, and we didn't go to bed at night going, that was fulfilling. And so when I started our therapeutic riding program um, with these writers and our volunteers and after every class we would go to bed and say that was fulfilling and our hearts were full and it was like I knew um, that is what I want to do. We're still looking for more volunteers, we're looking for more writers and that's what the whole thrust of um, this is about is just community awareness and to let people know that we're here for needs and we want to meet the needs that are in our community. We don't turn people away if they can't afford um, to pay for their session and fundraising is the only way we have to raise money for that. We're here to help the community and we're here to meet a need in the community and we need the community to help us meet those needs. So if you can help us, we would be incredibly grateful. 
Thank you.